Can psychedelic mushrooms actually help you live longer? A new study showed that psilocybin extended lifespan of human cells by up to 57% and extended lifespan by 30% in elderly mice. This content is separate from my role as a licensed psilocybin facilitator. To clarify, we never recommend the use of illegal substances. This reputable 2025 study on aged mice, roughly the equivalent of 60 plus human years old, were given psilocybin monthly. We'll get into what dose that was later. After 10 months, 80% of treated mice survived versus just 50% of the control group. That is a 30% survival increase. This rivals other anti-aging drugs like rampamycin. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe to be notified of our upcoming videos comparing psilocybin to these other anti-aging drug treatments, as well as other psychedelic and science-based information. Additionally, the psilocybin-treated mice showed improvements in fur quality, including hair growth and reduction in white hairs, noting that it was not just lifespan that was extended, but also the quality of health, also known as health span. The human cells treated with psilocybin's active form psilocin lived 29 to 57% longer, showing delayed senescence and preserved telomeres, both vital parts involved in the aging process of the cell. The longevity of the cell was, cor was correlated with dosage as well. The higher dose actually caused the 57% longer lifespan of the cell, compared to the lower dose causing 29% longer life. Different cell types also show different degrees of longevity in this experiment, but higher dosages still led to longer lifespan across the board. These are significant changes. Now let's get into the key aging mechanisms affected by psilocin-treated cells. So a couple of the reasons why this may have occurred are because it it produced less oxidative stress, essentially less inflammation in the cell. This actually may be driven by the 5-HT2A receptor activation, which could potentially imply that other classical psychedelics may do the same thing. We'll have to figure out with more research along those lines. Another key mechanism here is that there was delayed senescence. This is when a cell stops dividing but remains alive, meaning that cells can stay longer in their youthful state. Also, they maintained longer telomeres. It is unclear whether telomere length is directly related to aging, but these are the protective caps on DNA, and there is at least some reason to believe that longer is better. Also, it activated sirtuin one SIRT1, a longevity gene. There also may be lasting epigenetic changes that go on with this as well, from psilocybin. Uh, epigenetic changes meaning that there are changes in gene expression that persist for long periods of time after the dosing. These are core aging pathways, some of which are targeted by anti-aging drug compounds like caloric restrictions and rapamycin. Which again, we're going to have another video comparing the efficacy of each of these. What makes this discovery so surprising is that psilocybin is best known for its mental health breakthroughs like its reduction in depression and PTSD. Conditions like depression are also known to increase aging and mortality. So not only does psilocybin show promise in treating mental health conditions, but this study shows that physical aging may also be slowed, linking the mind and the body. Even late life treatment improved outcomes, right? That the mice were elderly mice suggesting that it's never too late to intervene with something like this. In terms of anti-aging research, it is very impressive to see a longevity treatment have benefit when initiated later in life. Now let's get into the implication for humans. This is the first study showing lifespan extension from a psychedelic in animals in general. The translated dose in humans is unclear, right? It was done on mice. In mice, they use 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight, dosed once a month for 10 months. Using a dose conversion calculation, this translates to roughly 1.2 milligrams per kilogram body weight in humans, or 60 milligrams for a 50 kilogram person. That is a lot. However, the study points out that mice metabolism for psilocybin is much faster, two to three times faster than humans, which is why they selected a higher dose. The true equivalent human dose may be substantially less, even more like 30 milligrams of psilocybin or less. Again, we don't entirely know, and that's something that we're going to just have to experiment with later. Let's talk about what we don't know yet. 
There is no human data yet. We don't know if this translates to actual people, right? It's been seen in human cells and mice, but not actual people yet. Satin older adults also looks good so far in mental health trials, but needs validation for long-term physical effects. Could there be cancer risk? Unlikely from this study, but still needs monitoring. I point this out because delaying senescence may correlate with, with cancer risk in some cases. It's a very complex relationship that needs further studying, and we're not going to get into any of that today. We also don't know the best dosing frequency yet. Right? Monthly worked in mice, but the optimal schedule for humans is unknown. Again, metabolism difference and many other things. Could psilocybin become part of the longevity protocol? I'm not recommending self-experimentation. More research is needed. But this study shifts the conversation of psychedelics aren't just for the mind. They might be tools for aging itself. With all that being said, would you take psilocybin to live longer and healthier? Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more psychedelic science content. Thank you for watching today, and I'll, as always, elevate your trip.